Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly tarot reading. I wish you a happy 2021. This will be your January 2021 monthly reading. Um, please be advised that this is a general reading. It won't resonate with everybody. Pick up what resonates with you and leave the rest. Don't force it. Oh, <laughs> let's see what cards have for you. I just cut the deck so here i have heart and book so learning about your love okay <laughs> you will get some knowledge about your love loving relationship let's see what the love cards will told us will tell us sorry <clears throat> action it could mean argumenting and again this book huh. so what would this tell us hmm. and a lady so a female card Hmm. Okay, sorry for the pausing, but I'm really trying to gather my thoughts here. So the thing is here, let's go step by step. Sometimes I need more time to develop <laughs> a theory. Theory, this reading in this case. So would you have here a book? Okay, and book is representing knowledge it represents learning uh, it is representing getting to know something it means research because we do have here magnifying glass so here we have a candle so I would say that um, this candle is illuminating something here so candle is illuminating this knowledge so knowledge about something that is going repetitively okay so this is the whip okay whip means repetitive action something going on uh for quite some time could be an argument but this is not something very pleasant okay so and the last card here is a lady. So there will be some sort of learning, repeatedly learning. Um, about a female person. This whip is a negative card. Okay, so and because here we have also a broom, so broom sweeps something away. So it's possible that there is some sort of a knowledge that no longer serves you. Okay, it's possible. Somehow I'm leaning into that way. So learning about something or a knowledge that you have from previous times or that you you are having it mm, and it doesn't it doesn't serve you you don't need it anymore you want to um you want to get rid of it okay so here is the woman card so either because this is a general apply it as it fits this is that you are learning this okay you are learning this about you that you are getting to know something that 
you know and we're talking about this relationship that you are having because this is a love reading so that you are finally realizing something that no longer serves you in this relationship or that this relationship doesn't serve you anymore that you are not satisfied in it or in other cases could be that you are learning something about another woman okay this is a general that's why i'm uh talking here about both both possibilities because the result is a woman the last card here is a woman so either this is you that this is totally only about you or that you are getting to know something that something repeatedly in repetitive actions some patterns about another woman god forbid and i really hope that this is not the case but whip could also mean an abuse okay i really do hope that this is not the case so that you are learning about abuse that a woman is abused but loving rela love relationships could be and not could be are very different uh we often don't know what's going on behind the closed doors okay and if you have that kind of knowledge report it immediately to appropriate authorities okay but i will not go into that direction i really don't hope that this is the case so let's clarify this with the tarot and let's hope that this goes in a more cheery way <laughs> so let's presume this could be the whip is interesting card this could also be sex okay that you are learning things about sex about your own sexuality okay this is a good thing okay i'll take this one because <laughs> i didn't want to go back Okay, let's see mm, the tower massive change yeah 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 this this could go really well with this so um realizing something that no longer serves you okay and this brings you a huge change okay either this is about you or about some other woman here okay definitely it will shake you to the ground okay because the tower is a change usually people are afraid of tower because people are always afraid of change okay but the change could be positive okay it doesn't have to be bad it's just it's out of our pattern we are not used to it we are not expecting it but everything what we believed in our beliefs our knowledge our patterns that we believed in are now coming down to the ground okay everything will will burn down okay everything will burn out down everything will collapse so this will be a huge change you can expect a huge change with this and even if we go by the theory that you will um, um, that this will be about something that doesn't serve you anymore this will be a huge change as well okay this is a huge change so you want to get rid of something i think that this month will be very introspective for you I think that you will learn a lot not only about um, circumstances and so on but 
I think that you will learn a lot about yourself as, as well. Six of Cups. So, yeah, Six of Cups is past. This is happy memory. Um, there could be kids involved, but this, I think that this is about a memory. And if I say that you will be learning something, that, n that you will be learning that something doesn't serve you well, does, doesn't serve you well and doesn't serve you at all, that this is finished, that you want to sweep it away. So you want to get rid of it. This is something that you are continuously dragging with you for quite some time. Either this is a relationship or whatever feeling are you having right now, apply this to your situation. But this will be a huge change. Okay, and I think that you will want to get rid of the past. Okay, it was pleasant for some time. Um, at the time when you were involved in this, for the time being, it served you well. But now it doesn't serve you anymore. And you need to get rid of it. You need to break this tower and you need to make space for a new building. Okay. Mm. Judgment. Yeah. Realizing. This means realizing that this is true. And this is this could be harsh. When you are realizing something. So this is a judgment. This is a wake-up call. And when you realize something, everything falls down on you. Okay, so this is hard. But I think that this will be change for the better. This will be positive change. It won't be negative. Because you will be reading of something bad. Because this is negative card. Okay, so you will want to read something that doesn't serve you anymore. And this is bad. It was good for the time being. Okay, because it did... Uh, make you some happy memories about it but now it doesn't serve you well anymore you need to get rid of it the magician and page of cups oof and the bottom card is death yeah I mean, you don't have to be a reader, so something definitely needs to be put to an end. And this also means transformation, okay? That means a rebirth, transformation. So it goes together with this tower, okay? Tower will break down. There will be room to making new foundation, to start to build new, to rebirth, to, to start to build new tower. And we, you are a magician, so you are master manifester, so you can do this. You have all the tools to do this. There is page of cups here, so this could be some offer of love. This could also be that if you are in a current relationship that no longer serves you, doesn't have to be uh, a loving relationship, could be any kind of relationship. When you feel that they, it doesn't serve you anymore, you have to get rid of it because this is just an unnecessary luggage. You don't have anything uh, from this relationship anymore. So it's time to transform it, either to transform it into some other level or get rid of it, okay? Sweep it away and you have the tool. You have the broom, okay? As the magician, you have all the tools. So you do have the broom here to sweep it. And it's possible that there is some other loving offer coming your way, an offer of love, but if you want to accept it, okay, if you want to accept it, you have to first get rid of this one, okay? Um, 
you could be dealing with Scorpio or with another water sign as yourself, but you are Pisces, okay? You are water sign. So if you want to offer love to somebody or if you want to accept it, you first have to get rid of what no longer serves you. It's possible that this realization will hit you hard, that everything will break down for you, but this is good. You will realize you have ha you will still have happy memories, but you will realize that you have to sweep it away and you have the room to do this. So put things to a rest or if you want to continue with it, transform it into some other uh, form or into some other shape. Okay, Pisces, for the end, one oracle card for you, one oracle advice. Observer, okay, observer, so, yeah, you were observing this for quite some time, okay, what is going on with you, in what kind of relationship you are, you were observing things, and now it's time that you learn things, okay, after observing it for quite some time, now it's time to learn things, and next step is to take action okay so pisces uh thank you for watching this i hope that you find in it something for yourself again i wish you a happy 2021 i hope that january will make a good start for you um subscribe to this channel follow me on instagram for my daily readings i hope that everything will work out well for you stay tuned for my next video take care and catch your wave